Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Nadine. That's brilliant. It's just, yeah, so great to hear you both speak. And yeah, and thank you for inviting me into this climate cafe and just up in Aberdeen. Obviously, I'm the one who's not from that part of the woods. But uh, so it's great to be able to, be able to help you chat all the way from down south. Um, so I'm Michelle Kassar. And I have been being PAL plastic a lot less since 2008. So I first learned about plastic pollution then, long before it was trendy and Blue Planet and before everything was going on. And to say I went into the eco anxiety is an understatement. And I did totally go into the total pain in the ass, ranty kind of way of dealing with things, which, you know probably wasn't the best um, but that was obviously a long time ago so I'm not going to be talking to you much about what I've done I will briefly touch on that uh, but what I'm going to actually be doing and this is why I don't have any slides is because I'm going to be interactive with you so um, I am going to get you to put some things in the chat and I am actually going to get you to take part in tapping which is emotional freedom technique uh, where we tap on parts of our body to talk to our, the part of our brain which gets stressed and brings us into the calm. Now I realise that sitting around tapping on ourselves isn't necessarily going to change the world right at this second but when we come from a place of calm we can really create more change and that's possibly what I didn't do <laughs> in the early days. Uh, that's not to say I didn't create change so I did create change at a local level and then after that, luckily, for some reason, I just stopped being ranty, which was good. So that's when we, I became one of the founding members of City to Sea. So I was living in Portugal for a long time, and that's where I discovered plastic pollution because I'm a photographer. It was on the beaches. It washed up around my feet. I came back to England. I had a change of circumstances, but I wanted to create big change. So at City to Sea, we did the cotton bud campaign where we switched all the cotton buds from plastic to paper. We had the refill campaign, which has now gone global and other different things. And I left there, I parted ways with them a couple of years ago, but they're just doing supersonic things. And in that time, um, in 2019, this is the book I wrote, which is Seb and Polly Planet on their Ocean Quest, which is an illustrated kids book. And Seb, is to, uh, led by the female superhero how she can be pal plastic a lot less and for me plastic a lot less was really important rather than plastic free the term plastic free just really got to me as a little bit what like Laura was saying it's like this needing to be perfection I just can't I was definitely a lot less plastic than I was before but I wasn't perfect so I definitely had the thing of being pal not perfect um and then during my time at City to Sea, I was suffering from insomnia and that's where I discovered EFT tapping. But I also noticed a lot of my colleagues, we went from a very small organisation of just four of us for quite a few years and then we boomed. And all of the colleagues and all of the people around me really suffering this eco-anxiety, what i had been suffering from, from years before. And it really, sort of hindering their work they were just being burnt out mainly just working so hard um, and just not having that space for themselves a bit like you were talking about Laura and coming from what Nadine was talking about that part of your brain when you're stressed and you're in the fight and your flight naturally so because there's things to worry about but then when we're doing that all the time like Nadine was saying we just get absolutely exhausted so I'd come to EFT tapping for insomnia but realized how good it can be for eco-anxiety so this is now what I do I concentrate helping people with eco-anxiety through clients one-to-one -one and also on Spotify so the first thing I'm going to ask in the comments is has anyone heard of EFT tapping emotional freedom technique just put a yes or a no or a tick or a yay or a nay no 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 Okay, a mixed bag. Okay, but there's quite a lot of no's, which is good. Okay, so I'm, okay, a couple of you have tried it, heard about it, but you don't know what it is, intrigued, okie dokie. So first of all, I am gonna ask you to take responsibility for your own well-being because this might bring up 
some things for you. But I am also going to stay on the call. So just get in touch or direct message me after the call if you need to chat. OK, so when we start to talk about eco-anxiety, I've got the feelings from before from Nadine's chat, so I won't ask you to repeat it again. But when you start to feel this frustration, this helplessness, this sadness, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and take a couple of deep breaths. I'm going to count you in for a couple of deep breaths before we start. But I just want you to feel where you feel that in your body. And then I'm going to ask you to rate that on a one to 10, 10 being the worst. Are you still there? Are you still there? Yeah. Did you hear me? Did I break up? I'm on a, at a campsite, so I'm toggling, I'm afraid. Did you no, hear we, we heard you. Oh, you're back. Do you want, okay. Do you want us to type something? Yes, in the chat. So just let me count you in first. So I just get you into the space because I know you've been listening a long time. So I'm just going to do a couple of deep breaths in for four, hold for four and out for four. And then I'm going to ask you to tune in to these feelings that you were feeling. So just taking a deep breath in for four, two, three, four. Hold it for four, two, three, four. And out for four, two, three, four. And take another deep breath in for four, two, three, four. Hold it for four, two, three, four. And out for four, two, three, four. And then what I'd like you to write in the comments, when you feel this frustration, this helplessness, this sadness, whatever it was you wrote before in the comments, just tune in. Do you feel that in your body anywhere? You might get it as a bit of a sickness, a tightness in your head. It'll be different for everyone. Just have a little tune in of where you feel that. And if you can write that in the comments. Oh, jaws, throat, chest, head, in between your shoulders. In your gut. So we always, we do feel our feelings in our body. And so to work through our feelings, it is it to work through them in our body. So the chest is another tight, yeah, the tightness in the chest, the chest, the solar plexus. And if you can rate that on a one to 10, with 10 being the worst, and maybe write that in the comments as well, if you're happy to. Okay, so there's some quite high numbers. There's some lower numbers, but there's also some quite high numbers coming through. Okay, and just bear that in mind, your, that number that you're having there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of rounds of EFT tapping, where we're going to tap on these meridian parts of the body. So these are the parts that acupuncturists use. And we are just going to literally do a couple of rounds just to get you to feel it. I have a diagram for this on my website and everything, and there's loads of it all on YouTube. But for now, I'm gonna ask you to tap on the side of your hand, using the tips of your fingers, if you can, with your first two hands. And you're all on mute, so feel free. You're gonna repeat after me. Now bear with me, because I know it does sound a little bit nuts, but it is scientifically proven, and it's a way of acknowledging. So what we do with EFT is we acknowledge these feelings that we have but by tapping we send a calming signal to the brain especially when we get into a habit of doing it so out loud if you can because you're all on mute even though i have this frustration and repeating after me even though i have this frustration 
and I'm going to use you, Laura, I'm going to watch you so I know when you've finished. I acknowledge how difficult this is. Even though I have all this sadness, I honour how I feel. Even though I have all of this overwhelm, I'm choosing to have compassion for myself and how I feel. And then I'm going to pick chest, but you just change the words and as suits as yourself, even though I have this tight feeling in my chest. I'm choosing to accept myself anyway. And then we're going to go around. So that was the setup statement. And then we're going to just go around and say a few words. And first of all, we're going to start at the eyebrow point here, just in the tip of your eyebrow. I can't see many of you, so who knows what you're up to do, but all of this frustration. The side of your eye just here. All of this helplessness. Under your eye, all of this despair. All of this guilt. I feel it in my. And I've got this feeling and it's about as such and such out of 10. And then under your arm where people who wear a bra strap would be. I acknowledge my feelings are valid. And on your wrist, I'm acknowledging how difficult this is. And on the crown of your head, I'm choosing to have compassion for myself and how I feel. And then take a deep breath. Remember, we are doing this super quick. We're going to do one more round. But before we do a round, another one, you, even while I'm talking, you can now just carry on tapping on the side of your hand. Would anyone like to put a thought in of how they've just felt just doing that, acknowledging it and just do it one time tapping? Okay, so for you who haven't got the comments up, someone said they feel calmer already. The neck isn't so sore, calmer, feels a bit weird. Yeah, it is a bit weird. <laughs> I feel safe. It's a bit weird and wonderful, that's what I'd say. But it does feel a bit weird. I'm not gonna pretend it doesn't, but um, once you get used to it, if you wanted to take it up, um, it is very calming and your body will start to recognize it. So we're going to just do one last round. Does anyone else have any feelings you'd like to just tap on while we just... Okay. Even though I'm new to tapping, I'm open to finding another way to cope with all of these feelings that the climate crisis brings up. I need to take care of myself. I'm choosing to take care of myself.
and I'm back to the eyebrow point. I need to take care of myself. How can I help the world? If I first don't take care of myself. So I'm open to finding new ways to take care of myself. And on your chest, do we do that on a sudden, sorry, but, and also I know lots of old ways to take care of myself. So I'm choosing to actually do them. Because I am important. I am an important part in this climate crisis. And I can do my best work, as cheesy as it may sound, when I am my best self. So I'm choosing to shift how I feel just in this moment. And then put your hands on your heart wherever you feel comfortable. Just take a couple of deep breaths. And just thank yourself for acknowledging those feelings and just doing that. And just knowing that you are important and you are an important part of this. Just knowing it, just feel that. And if you don't feel that, that's also fine. That brings up stuff to tap on. And often when we tap, we bring up other things to tap on. I do remember to stay on if you want to, or to drop me a DM. I'm gonna be on at the Q&A as well, so I can always answer a DM. I'd like you to go back to that original number that you typed in, if you can remember what it was. And just let me know in the comments what it is now. Okay, so there's definitely some lower numbers and people have said they're lower. So you may have brought up, if it has brought it up for you, just maybe tap a little bit on your own. Well, I have to say, come uh, stay on. But I just wanted to show you just that something that's so handy. And what is amazing about tapping is for me, I'm not like, oh, this positive thinking, all that. Sometimes, sometimes I just want to run. And like I said, I could be a right pain in the ass. So, what is with tapping is you, by acknowledging it, it feels like you would just get it off our chest and then we can come to the positive. And also, you can use it all the time so if you're nervous about something or when you're learning to sleep you literally can do it for yourself having a set of sessions obviously is good in the start but it's a bit like the dentist you go and see the dentist and then you carry on brushing your teeth so it's a little bit of dental brushing for your emotional health and one you can do very easily so um i didn't do slides because i didn't want to do loads of slides but i'm michelle kassar and um i just write it in the comment my website is tap and thrive live or michellecassar.com and um, I hope you enjoyed that and you're feeling a bit, or you're feeling a bit calmer, which is amazing. So thank you for having me on and uh, I'll stay around for the Q&A.